Okay, so if you want to make free customizable subtitles in DaVinci Resolve really fast, you stumbled upon the right video. Let's get right into it. For this, you are going to need three things, DaVinci Resolve, CapCut, and a plugin called Snap Captions. Okay, so I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I have now just finished editing my timeline. The first thing that I'm going to do is go to Deliver and actually render out the clip. As you can see, I have already done it. And now we are ready to open up CapCut. Let's create a new project and import the clip that we just rendered. I have it right here, import it, get it onto the timeline, go to text, and now do auto captions choose English and do create. It's going to now make the captions for us. And once it's ready, we are going to just slightly improve them. So it has finished. And as you can see, I also have some captions that I already had in DaVinci, but we are just going to ignore them. You're going to click on one and go up here and see captions right here. Now you can customize the number of words that you actually want in your captions. So I'm just quickly going to cut them up and I'll be back with you. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm just editing these clips by hitting enter into just moving the caption into the next line. And when I want to go back, when I, for example, made a mistake or I want to correct CapCut, then I just hit backspace and it will merge the two layers back together. Okay, I'm finished here and now we go up into the file section, hit export and you wanna untick video exporting and audio exporting so it only exports the SRT. We give it some sort of a name so we know which one it is, hit export it should be instant. Now we can head back to DaVinci Resolve and go to the timeline. Now hit media, import media and go to the same folder that you were before in. And now we select the SRT file, hit open and it should be here. We can go to the beginning of our timeline, just scroll up, it's giving me a bit of trouble here. Okay, we can just do this and move it to the side so it's nicely aligned with the very, very start. And now comes the cool part. We are going to add the captions and transform from the subtitles, which have really limited customizability, into text plus, which you can do pretty much anything with. So here comes the big thank you to the creator of this plugin, which is Orson Lord, who has shared this with the community for completely free. So I will just leave a link down below and you can just install the plugin for yourself there. So let's go back to DaVinci and now click on workspace, go to script, comps, snap captions, and now it will open up this window and it will take any of the presets that you have in a snap captions file. This bin needs to be named snap captions. I have all of my presets that I've done before in text plus nodes there so I can mimic it. And if you don't know how to get your text plus up there, you simply go into titles, click on text plus and throw it somewhere into your timeline. You can throw it, for example, right here. And now you can customize it with pretty much anything. The text here doesn't matter at all, but the shading options are really nice and you should really just play with them to your liking. I got something like this going on for me right here, which is kind of, I'm calling this my light mode preset. And let's actually create the thing that you are here for. So again, workspace, scripts, comp, snap captions. And now I select light mode small, give the case conversion none because I don't want any, I don't want to remove punctuation. Also fill gaps is gonna be on and the max fill, I usually just set it to 20. Then click generate and as you can see, it's doing its magic and it's actually transferring all of the captions and disabling the subtitles themselves. Now we can just select all of the subtitles and completely get rid of them because they're useless. And also the subtitle track, you can delete the track. And you're pretty much done. You have everything that you need right here. You can just go into your subtitles if they're kind of longer like my ones here then you can just go in there and do a two-liner. And yeah, this will save you a ton of time, especially if you were doing them by hand like I did before. This took me probably like two hours before to get all of the captions right. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this speeds up your process of actually making more videos. And I will see you in the next one.